Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Monday, October 7th, 2013. Well, nothing scheduled for today for our announcements that would affect the market, and that's a good thing. I think that uh, the government in the U.S. and Washington is affecting the markets here plenty, and supposedly around the country, too or around the world, I should say. Uh, let's take a look here off the left coast. And we can see over in Asia, pretty significantly bearish looking for today. And in Europe, very bearish looking. And that's off the right coast. So that's what we're faced with internationally today. Um, our futures here in the U.S. looking pretty down, very bearish, down 135 uh, for the Dow, but definitely down in the 1% or higher category, which is fairly significant. We have gold up. Well, actually, gold is flat, and oil is down a tad, down 1%. That's more than a tad. All right, um, then last week we had a couple of positions expire profitably. One of them was Netflix. Let's take a look at that chart. And I had a bail alert here that did not go off on Friday, so that's a good thing. I can cancel this alert. So this one expired 100% profit. So I'll take that off of there and remove it from our in-play list here. And then SPX also uh, expired 100% in the money. I'm going to leave these on here just to show you um, what I have been doing each week on it. So we'll leave that one on the list. Then on Friday, I finally got into the um, uh, iron condor that I promised that I was looking into and that I would probably get into, and I did, on LinkedIn. Let me show you where the strikes are in the expiration. I picked a normal October expiration, and my shorts are at 260 and at 230. So if this continues to play out as it has, and our momentum uh, continues to uh, play with the zero line here, we should be in pretty good shape on that particular trade. Also on Friday, I think it was Friday, I entered into the CF trade here. Let's go back over here and click. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I didn't finish labeling this, but um, I did enter at 205, right? Yes, my shorts are at 210, so I need to correct this. So up here, I just press the Alt key and type 30 for an up arrow, and we need to change this to 210. We got in on the 6th, and we're getting out on the 18th, I believe, that that is correct. Yes, this is a regular October expiration. And then the other thing on Friday that I was looking at doing was uh, closing the Celgene calendar. And it just ran away from me during the day. I actually put an order in with a limit, I think, of uh, I would have made a uh, $100 on it. And it just kept running away, so the order never executed. We'll just see how it works out today. Is there anything going on here today? No. There's nothing going on, So, um, at least at this time. So we're just going to continue to sit and watch this particular trade. It's still worth 65 bucks. Okay, um, and that's pretty much it. I think we're going to jump right over to the A-plus list today in a tad bit of a hurry, have a lot of things backed up. We got a um, 
here in, in uh, Columbus, Ohio area, or Central Ohio. Man, I, you know, I've lived in Florida, and it, I've seen it rain down there, but I've never seen it rain like this here. It's just all night long, wind and rain, um, a deluge. I don't know how much we got. I uh, didn't bother to check, but I can tell you that we got a lot, and a new construction, and the mud and everything else. Uh, we have a lot to cope with this morning, so we're just going to jump right over to the, oops, to the A-plus list. I just did that twice, didn't I? Okay, and we'll start right out with Apple. Uh, not seeing anything here on Apple for today. Did not do any overnight trades last week. Amazon. Uh, Amazon looks like as though it might be getting a little weak. A little weak. We might have a change in direction on Amazon here. We'll just have to see. I clear these drawings off of here. And take this one. Off. There now we're pretty clean on Amazon. Uh, there was a new release of the TOS platform over the weekend, and I'm still trying to figure out what's the big deal about it. But one of the things is for studies, the Edit Studies now has its own panel or its own separate box, dialog box. So all you have to do is just actually put your cursor over the study where it uh, highlights it like that and then double click it and you get your uh, a separate dialog box if you want to edit that particular study without doing a lot of uh, right clicking and scrolling around and stuff like that so that's kind of nice same thing you know like down here you can see when as I move the cursor it highlights it or brightens it and I double click it and you can edit it. The other stuff that I saw that they did, uh, I don't use that anyway, so it doesn't really interest me. I wish I could disable features <laughs> so that this thing would launch a little bit faster and maybe be a little bit faster, but it's pretty fast today. Also upgraded, uh, put a new driver in for my network card, and I seems to be a lot more stable and maybe a bit faster. So anyway, back to Amazon. Uh, looks like it might be running out of gas. I don't know. Uh, let's just zoom in here one more. We'll see if it comes to what happens when it comes down here into our target area. Baidu. Uh, heading down to our target area for a possible entry. Um, these last candles here showing a tad bit of weakness. Just a tad bit. So, not sure exactly. I can't forecast what's going to happen, but it looks like as though it might be running out of a gas as well. Celgene. Uh, this is our um, put calendar that I couldn't get out of. Uh, we're still looking for a possible entry here on with a bull put. Uh, we got a little hook down here. I would like to see it drop below this 45 level on the percent. Uh, what is that? We can say that that is percent K. Is the blue line. D is the red and green line. So percent K is the faster acting one. And it just did a knee-jerk reaction here to this calendar. I would just like to see it come down here to 45. CF, we just covered that one. Let's go to Chipotle. Uh, big day for Chipotle on Friday. Uh, nothing developing here yet at all. Just a very... Um, bullish looking price action right now. How's Google doing? Did it have a good day Friday? No, it did not have a good day Friday. We are going to alert this now.
So I did have an alert on this on Friday, and it, it did trigger, but I didn't do anything. I should have. Also, I had one on Goldman Sachs and V, and I'm pretty sure all my alerts are cleared off. So let's see if Goldman also moved down. Uh, Ted, no, the alert's still up here for Goldman. And it is still valid, although, no, I'm going to leave it there. So that's still a good alert for Goldman. Also on Friday, I think I uploaded the wrong video, and I walked away from it and didn't look at it until much later in the day. And it was a video that I previously uploaded, and at least uh, YouTube was smart enough to know that I had done that, and it uh, rejected the video. So I uh, uploaded it later in the day, and I apologize for that uh, cockpit error. And we'll just have to keep a closer eye on it in the future, I believe. So uh, Goldman alert is still valid. All right, LinkedIn. Oop, there we go. Uh, LinkedIn, uh, don't see any, still do not see any directional trade here at all, possibly here. I don't know. We'll see what happens today. MasterCard. Is already down 60 cents this morning. Oh, and that's because of the dividend, of course. So, I guess that makes sense. But MasterCard looks like it's running out of uh, steam here as well. Netflix. And we just had a successful trade on that. So now let's just move this target over here and see if it'll give us another one. Priceline. Uh, still waiting for it to come down. Our $1,000 stock stock is now pushing the $1,100 mark. Just unbelievable. Way to go, William Shatner. I'm sure you're rich. Very rich. Um, yes, Tesla, look at this. Well, we are going to put an alert on Tesla. That'll be at or above that level there. So we'll see if it can beat the tide of the market. The tide of the market is going to be down today. Let's see what Tesla does. And then Visa... We had an alert on Visa on Friday, and I think it might have triggered here, and then it reversed, so I took a pass on that one. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with Visa, so um, I'm going to take this target off of here. And let's just wait and see what's going to happen here. If we're going to come down and kiss the 50 here and we'll watch and see what happens. We're just going to take a pass on Visa for right now. All right, uh, everybody. Thank you a ton for watching. That's it for today. Have a great day and happy trading.